Welcome back to my channel. This presentation is about designing a graphical abstract for journal papers. Well, graphical abstracts are important because a number of journals require to submit a graphical abstract as part of their publication. So it's a standalone visual summary of the main findings of your research. Visual abstract can help you get noticed and stand out, and they facilitate readers' task to understand your work and they can outline your paper. And as we know all, that a picture is worth a thousand word. In this context, your publication will be coupled to a very important image, which is the graphical abstract, and will, can be searched on an image search engine. So when somebody uses the keywords relevant to your publication, looking into an image search en engine, the graphical abstract will pop up and directly it will be linking the abstract to your publication as a consequence your work will be read. So therefore also it's very important. Now, how to design graphical abstracts? Let's start starting. Get started. Well, how to start creating my graphical abstract? First of all, you have to follow the journal's guidelines and read them thoroughly. Secondly, you have to think about the purpose and the audience of your abstract. The more you have an abstract, a graphical abstract, designed to make it easy and understandable for people who are not very technically specialized, the better it is. The abstract has to summarize the outcome of your research. And for sure, I advise you some technical advice to use an image with a minimum of 1,328 by 531 pixels width by height, using a minimum resolution of 300 dpi. Also, you have to have a font. Please, I advise you to use some kind of formal, uh, rigorous fonts like Times, Arial, Courier, or Symbol, or others, with enough font size, minimum 18. Also, make sure that you are using the right file type. In this sense, it's always recommended to have a TIF, EPS, PDF, or Office files like uh, PowerPoint. And this is always recommended. Now, what is the appropriate platform that I should use to design my graphical abstracts, especially if I'm doing it for the first time? I advise you start to start firstly with PowerPoint, if you don't have a big experience. If you have access to software like Photoshop or uh, Adobe uh, Illustrator, it will be great. And for sure, don't forget Corel Draw also is a very powerful tool that can be used for graphical abstracts design. Now let's start with an example of a graphical abstract. This is a publication I had previously. And as you can see, I designed this graphical abstract. I just simply grouped the pictures of the buildings that we visited in Brussels and audited. I had included some keywords relevant to what we did. And finally, I visualized the outcome. We had a simulation model, and we have an audited reference building. And as you can see, the abstract is visual, simple. There is a lot of white in the background. So this is an example for a good visual abstract. What should I, should I include when I'm designing a graphical abstract? This is an important question. First of all, you have to visualize important article elements or concepts or keywords. This can be an idea. You have to use a simple composition for the layout, don't overcomplexify, and keep the design simple, sleek, with appealing colors. So these are all uh, advices when it comes to visual uh, visualization, to the content, to data, and if there is the ability to have a narrative. Well, this is an example of another uh, abstract of Shiz Aoki that has a narrative. She is simply uh, developing as a model, and in the development of the model, she decided to visualize in the graphical abstract the different step of the model. And it's very visual, very clear, a lot of white, and every time there is a short description of the step with a very powerful graphic that shows what is the content of each of these steps. For me, as a non-specialized in this domain, I directly understood what this, this research about, and this is an example of a very powerful graphical abstract. Now, how to start creating my graphical abstract? First of all, use detail sp sparingly without oversimplifying or misrepresenting your work. Images and videos don't always need to be overly polished, by, uh, uh, so try to be uh, authentic. Make sure that the image itself is your image. You might take some of the images from your own uh, results uh, if you find it uh, relevant, but if not, you have to do produce a full new um, uh, graphical abstract or a new image. White space is your friend here. Make sure that you have white space. As you can see, this is another example of one of my abstract. We have enough white space ab around us, and we had highlighted the main element 
of our research with mainly keywords and some uh, prospectus uh, future work. And as you can see, it's very understandable, very clear, and very visual. Another example you can see here from one of my publications that we talked about four main concepts related to uh, facades. And as you can see, we visualized it, some keywords, and that's it. So we included four images and we made sure that this abstract is appealing, interesting, and very simple. So don't overcomplexify your visual and start to design directly and test it through iteration. Now some takeaway messages before leaving you today. The aim of a graphical abstract is to simplify, illustrate, explain, and entice your work, and to make it more visible and accessible from a visual point of view so that your work can be also approached easy and allowing to have a higher readership for your work. Make sure that creating create a simple, accessible, and visual stimulating overview because this will benefit your article considerably. Also, one of the easiest ways to capture attention is to add pictures in your graphical abstract. So if this is possible, you can add videos, you can make a graphical abstract that is simply a video, or if you can add some other documents. And for sure, do your best to be creative in designing your graphical abstract and bear these following words in mind when you are trying to think about how to design it or when you are brainstorming. Simplify, illustrate, explain, and entice. By that, I end up today's presentation on designing graphical abstract for publication. It is part of a playlist on scientific publishing. Don't hesitate to share this material, comment on it, interact, or share, uh, or have some questions. I'm looking forward that you can design your first graphical abstract. Thank you very much for your attention.